Hello guys, welcome to the Gateway to Network Security. On behalf of White Logic IT Training Solutions, I'm HJ Mancada and let's now jump into this introduction that will be your head start to the field of network security. Let's begin with a brief self-introduction. I'm HJ and I'm currently working as a network security engineer. I've been working for eight years and here you'll see my current certifications. I've been also a student at White Logic way back last March 2017 for the CCNA Bootcamp. These are the things that we're going to discuss. Una, we'll talk about the reasons why would you add network security to your skills. We'll have a comparison between a network engineer and a security engineer. Then the main objective of this video is for you to be introduced to Fortinet, their certification program, and how to achieve their two entry level certification which are NSE1 and NSE2. Then we'll talk about what would be your next move. Moving on, let's talk about the reasons why would you embark to the field of network security. I assume that you're someone who is currently working on a NOC environment or a network admin environment, or you could also be someone who already have a CCNA level knowledge. And security is the most essential skill that you need to learn after network fundamentals. As we all know, a computer network must always be secured. Next is the global cybersecurity skills gap. As of November 2019, umabot na sa 4 million people yung kulang na tao in the field of cybersecurity. This tells you two things. First is, the best time to study and learn network security is now. Second, once you are a cybersecurity professional, there will always be a job for you due to the shortage on this field. Let's see the comparison between a network engineer and a security engineer. If you are a network engineer, you have your router and switch. Hindi nawawala yung network monitoring when it comes to the performance and alerts. You execute MACD requests. These are move, add, change, delete requests which is being done on the configuration of the devices that you manage. And then yung maintenance task, which is being scheduled from time to time. These are the iOS upgrades, disaster recovery test, also known as BCP testing. Common issues are routing and switching issues, circuit related issues like bouncing circuits, circuits showing some errors, and also, from time to time, nandyan yung bandwidth and latency issues. On the other hand, if you are a security engineer, you have your firewall, intrusion prevention systems, intrusion detection systems, and ASA. You work on firewall installs, the integration of a firewall to an existing network. You work on maintenance tasks like firmware upgrades, works on recurring tasks like security audits, which are being done on a monthly or quarterly basis, depending on the client's requirements. You also work with SOC, which are analysts who works on threats and vulnerabilities, depending on what working environment that you have. You also need to work with network engineers. Common issues on a day-to-day -day basis are modification of firewall policies, web content filtering, which is blacklisting or whitelisting a certain IP or a URL and also authentication issues. All in all, if you are a network security engineer, you can expect na lahat to ginagawa mo. You have managed all these devices, you do all these tasks, and you face these issues on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's talk about Fortinet. It is a cybersecurity company founded last 2000 by Chinese-American brothers Ken and Michael Z headquartered in Sunnyvale, California. Despite being young, they are the number one cybersecurity company in the world when it comes to annual revenue and range of products. To name a few of their products, these are firewalls, antivirus, intrusion prevention systems, and endpoint security. Some of their clients are large enterprises, service providers, and government organizations. They are also the makers of Fortigate, which is their flagship product. Moving on with their own certification program, they call it the Network Security Expert Program, 
launched last 2015. It has eight levels of certification from associate level to expert level. Each of these certification is valid for two years. You can either renew or take the next level depends on your preference. So bakit two years lang? If you do some research, it's not just Fortinet. If you also see other security vendors, their certifications is also valid for only two years. So bakit ganun? The main reason is that these vendors are trying to keep up or be ahead of the cybersecurity threats of today. New tools and methods are being developed as we speak. What you know today might no longer be relevant in the next 24 months. That is why you need to study and recertify frequently. Moving on with our main objective, which is to guide you on how to obtain two entry-level certifications by Fortinet, which are NSE1 and NSE2. And why would you be interested in taking these courses and how to get the certification? Una sa lahat, the training and the exam is free. You can gain access to it by creating a public account at training.fortinet.com. Also, all of these courses are self-paced, meaning you can pause the training and your progress is saved. You can come back to it at a later time. So how much time do you need? For NSE1, all you need is one hour to complete the training and the exam. For NSE2, it takes less than five hours to complete. So these courses can be taken during your break times or even on your rest days. After this deck, I'll be showing you a demonstration on how to navigate and access the trainings on the NSC Institute. Okay guys, now you see on the screen is the NSC Institute, the training portal of Fortinet. And I'll be showing you a demonstration on how to navigate and how to access the training courses and materials on this portal. Let's log in. Here in the selection, choose public as the authentication method. For first time users, go here and sign up. Fill out this form and a confirmation will be sent out to you once your account has been successfully created. In my case, I can just go back and log in. You'll see here the library. These are the available courses on this portal since this is just a public account, only NSE1 and 2 is available. Even though you can see here it's listed up to NEC8, it is restricted since this is a public account. Also, on this portal, ito makikita yung mga finished courses mo on your profile. Once done with every course or certification, your badge will be available here and you can also download your certificate as a PDF file. Going back to the library, Tingnan natin si NSE1, which is the threat landscape. Dito sa taas, makikita nyo yung welcome message, renewals, and contacts ni Fortinet. Should you need the help or if you have questions, you can download the FAQ on this link. Meron din silang course description, which is a PDF file containing all you need to know about the NSE1. Let's take a look on lesson one, which is the bad actors. So at the end, guys, let's try to play. Every day, every hour, people of all ages, all over the world, are at risk of consequence from cyber threats. While you're watching this video, I find many ways to trick people into telling me their account names and passwords directly. This is what I call phishing. And oh, that's it for now. It's up to you guys to explore these lessons. After each lesson, makikita nyo merong quiz that you need to take on for you to gain the NSE1 certification. So after this five lessons, makikita nyo rin dito that there are some additional materials. Na pwede tingnan. 
Here's a snapshot of all the lessons and materials under NSE1. As a summary, NSE1 educates you about the cybersecurity threats that are ongoing which every organization has to deal with. Moving on with NSE2, the evolution of cybersecurity. Here, you will learn about the tools and methodologies being used by security vendors to address the cybersecurity threats that was discussed on NSE1. I suggest you take down notes since most of the topics here might be new to you and also for you to easily pass the exam if you have your, your notes. Let's take on this lesson. Lesson one is about SOAR. What is SOAR? Well, it's an acronym standing for Security Orchestration, Automation, and Response. What that means is that SOAR connects all of the other tools in your security stack together into defined workflows which can be... Okay, I will leave you to continue this course and once done with NSE1 and NSE2, take note that it would take about 24 hours for the completion certificate to be available on your profile. And you also need to pass each quiz with a passing score of 80%. Here's another snapshot showing all the lessons under NSE2. And these are the tools and methods being used by security vendors to address the cybersecurity threats that was discussed on NSE1. Now let's have a recap of our discussion. Una na pag-usapan natin yung mga reasons. Why would you consider adding network security to your skills? Next is, we have shown you the comparison between a network engineer and a security engineer. We have introduced you to Fortinet and to their certification program. Now, alam mo na kung paano ma-access yung trainings and take on their two entry-level certification, which are NSE1 and NSE2. What's next? Now that you have NSE1 and NSE2, I hope now you won't be contented na yan lang ang meron ka since it's just the fundamentals of network security. The best thing to do right now is to gear up and keep going. So please watch out for the upcoming videos that we are going to release and it will help you gear up and deep dive the field of network security. Once again, guys, on behalf of White Logic IE Training Solutions, I'm HJ, and I hope marami kang natutunan sa video na to. And see you on the upcoming videos. And of course, thank you for watching.